let's look at this question on integration again where we're going to use the u substitution method okay so again as i have uh, as i would like to do first try to do it yourself and pause the video and then you can so these are the two questions i hopefully would like to do in this video so integration of 1 minus 2x over 1 plus 2x so as a rule of thumb it's better to uh, to the u substitution of the denominator so it's 1 plus 2x so if we differentiate both sides du by dx is equal to 2 which implies half du is equal to dx okay so I've expressed dx in terms of du I've expressed the denominator 1 plus 2x in terms of u. Now my big aim is uh, is to make this 1 minus 2x in terms of u. So first thing that I look at is I want a minus 2x here. So what can I do to get a minus 2x? I say well I what if I multiply both sides by negative 1? So this will become minus u is minus 1 minus 2x. So you've got a minus 2x now you have to but along with that you've got a minus 1 I want to make this minus 1 to a plus 1 so what should I do I should add 2 to both sides so this is minus u plus 2 is minus 1 minus 2x plus 2 so what will happen so this is nothing but 2 minus u is equal to 1 minus 2x so these are small tricks you need to learn by practice so these are skills you can't learn or teach no teacher can teach you until you do it yourself so this whole thing changes to changes to integration of 1 minus 2x is 2 minus u over u times half du because dx is half du so this becomes you can take the half out so this is integration of 2 over u minus u over u is let me write that u over u du i'm distribute i can divide i'm dividing both the numerator with u so this is nothing but half times integration of 2 times 1 over u minus 1 du so I'm going to differentiate, sorry, integrate each of them. I can distribute, so I can put the half out. So this is nothing but, uh, okay, so it's better. Okay, so before that, so let me distribute this too. So this is nothing but, if we expand with, I can multiply with this too. So this is an integration of uh, half times 2 times 1 over u minus uh, minus half minus half oops I think I would leave this half later okay uh, yeah so this is yeah I'll leave the half later so this is same as two sorry this is equal to half if you're integrating this, so this is 2 times natural log of u, modulus of u, minus u, plus c. So if you now expand with this half, so this is nothing but natural log of u, minus half u, plus c. Now, you may say that why didn't I multiply with the half? You can multiply though, it doesn't make any difference because half c is again a constant. Okay. So here, therefore, I can say integration of 1 minus 2x over 1 plus 2x dx is natural log of 1 plus 2x, 2x, okay, minus half times 1 plus 2x, 2x plus, so this is your answer so as i always tell my students 
always good to check your answer okay it doesn't take too long to check your answer and if you if you have and that's one of the big questions you need to ask whenever you're doing uh, any question any on any topic is the answer making sense okay or can i check my answer and if you can check your answer it's always good to check your answer okay so generally i can go backwards and uh, check your answer there are different ways of checking your answer and here uh, you can check your answer by differentiating this function the right hand side you can you should get the left hand side so let me write check so let me change color so let me write here check so what am I doing so this is check okay I'm going to check my answers I'm going to differentiate with respect to x so d by dx of natural log of 1 plus 2x minus half times d by dx of 1 plus 2x plus d by dx of c okay so when you differentiate this you have to differentiate inside first so that is 2 differentiation of the inside is 2 times 1 over 1 plus 2x minus half times 1 plus 2x differentiates to 2 and this is nothing but 0 okay so this is nothing but 2 over 1 plus 2x minus 1 over 1 now I'm going to multiply the numerator with 1 plus 2x but also multiply the denominator with 1 plus 2x so let me change color the red is really annoying color yeah so this is 2 minus 1 plus minus 2x over 1 plus 2x I hope you understand as the denominators are equal you can subtract subtract the denom numerator so this is 2 and as you get a minus here this is minus 1 and minus 2x so this is nothing but 1 minus 2x over 1 plus 2x so you have confirmed your answer and this is also good exercise of differentiation and integration together okay the next question here let us differentiate sorry integrate so here we can factorize the denominator so this is x plus 2 over x plus 2 x minus 2 dx now here uh, as calculus students you should know when you can cancel and when you cannot cancel now here when you see something like this you are very excited to cancel this out okay but you should stop and think can we cancel we can cancel if the denominator doesn't become zero or you can cancel in other words what I mean is if you can if you cancel x plus 2 you're presuming that x is not negative 2 okay or you can say uh, if x is not negative 2 why why do I say that x should not be negative 2 when x is negative 2 this becomes 0 x plus 2 becomes 0 actually x should not be plus or minus 2 okay. in this case the denominator can become 0 when x is plus or minus 2 now I'll show you now x is not def x uh, sorry the function is not defined when x is plus or minus 2 so we can write so let me highlight this and bring this here so here we can say that uh, we don't need to say you can directly say that x is not plus or minus 2 okay how can you check that why ca how can you say that because if you put x plus or minus 2 here the denominator will become 0 so I'll show you this on the calculator so let me get the calculator out <clears throat> you can go to your table menu that's a neat way of checking what I mean <clears throat> excuse me so this is bracket x plus 2 divided by 
x squared minus 4. Okay, and then you go to your set. I want to check plus or minus 2. I'll go for minus 3 to plus 3. Step of 1 is fine. When x is negative 2, there is an error. So it's not defined. Okay. Now if you graph this, you'll find there's a, there, there is a hole. If you are graphing this, it's a hyperbola with a hole at this point. And when x is 2, again, it's not defined. And you, you can see in your graph, well, let us draw it. Okay. Graph point, okay. Graph connect, okay. So, yeah, I'll show, let me show you on graphic also. So, if you graph this, at x is equal to plus 2, it's an asymptote. There's an asymptote here. And when x is negative 2, there is a hole there. The hole cannot be seen on a graphic calculator. But if you're graphing it, you have to show a hole because it's not defined at that point. So you can see, x, as x is not plus or minus 2, this will not become 0. So you can cancel this. So this is a very important step uh, to get merit or excellence. You should, sh you should know that you're canceling because you know that x is not plus or minus 2. Or in, in this case, x is not mi uh, minus 2. And that's why you can cancel. So this is has become neat. This is integration of 1 over x minus 2 dx. So this is no, there's no need of your substitution. So this is nothing but natural log of x minus 2 plus c. OK, that's simple as this. OK, now how will you check your answer? Differentiate this, so let me change color. So d by dx of natural log of x minus 2 is equal to 1 over x minus 2. Now, your question may be this and this are not same. They are same. Why? Because if you multiply this by x plus 2, you can also multiply this by x plus 2. So this becomes nothing but x plus 2 over x squared minus 4. See you in the next video.